Hello guys and welcome back to our let's play of KSP. Now it has been quite a while since we last played this and there's been some changes so we've started up a new game. As you can see there's this new interface up at the top where we see credits so we have to pay for parts. Reputation, don't actually know how that works yet and research is back at zero since we've started a new one but the main new feature is contracts these fins that you can see me clicking on here I won't bother reading them out to you I'm sure you can read them yourselves but they're basically missions to complete they give you some credits that you can use to build your ship to do it and then once you manage to complete them you get more credits and science and rewards as such so I picked up all the starter ones and basically my plan is build a ship and fly directly upwards and see how that works out. And I think the um, challenges I had, you can see me building the ship in the background here with the very limited parts that we have, were basically to build a ship, launch a ship, get so high, get out the atmosphere. So I figure if I just strap a load of solid boosters and launch directly up, we should see how high we can get this fin to coast and see if we can get it to work. And I'm doing a little bit of staging because I forgot to fix that, but we're pretty much ready to launch straight away. And straight away we get launch a new vessel, so that's our first contract done. And as you can see I'm just looking around at all the new fins, the reputation bar moves slightly, must be because I completed a contract. And we just hit a certain um, altitude which got us our second one. So we've already completed two contracts and it's been almost two minutes of video. That's pretty good going. And I also have to remember to keep doing all the science experiments, the basic ones, since as we're starting off from new, we can still get a decent amount of relative science for um, doing things like EVA reports. But as you see, we didn't manage to break into space and we're falling back down. So, almost a really good start, but not quite good enough. It looks like we're going to have to take another jab again this fin into space. So, I slowly parachute down, and one of the interesting fins with the new credit system is if you manage to land without destroying your craft, as I'm going to try and do now, you actually get a refund on the parts. So, it makes it a lot, lot easier to progress. So, it's really key to load up your ship with a bunch of parachutes so you can catch it like this I'm going to do another EVA report for the science and you'll see very shortly we get all the science from everything I've done and the contracts and if we go on shortly I think come on there we go we actually get refunds on all the parts that we managed to not destroy in the fin and our reputation goes up so you don't really know what that's for but still and I can see the contracts I completed and the rewards, some science, some reputation and some credits. And apparently credits can be something you need quite a lot of, so I'm very happy that we managed to save the ship there. So again, just experimenting around. We've got some research, I go for the rockets. Very, very slightly off, just 0.3 of a science unit. Not sure what the units are for this. So I do the old trick from my um, career mode starter guide of just putting on a command pod I'm doing some fins, getting a sample of the launch pad, an EVA report, a crew report, just to get a tiny bit more science, so it boosts me up enough to get the next set of rockets, which is what I want. So I want a bit more power and a bit more fuel if I'm going to be able to get this fin out into an orbit, eventually will be the plan. So I think we have enough science now, so I will probably, yes, we've got 30.2. And I will be jumping into the research. Oh, actually, no, I'm going to look at the contracts first. And I have a bunch of new ones I've unlocked. And they all seem to be about testing a part. So I thought I would give that a try. I picked up one of those. I can see there's no deadline for the one I'd already picked. So it doesn't matter that I'm not going straight for the one I'd already accepted. So I decided to pick up one of the testing ones and see how it's done because it's testing for something I don't have I do not own that liquid engine so I thought let's see what we can do with this and it just says here that I need it to be on curbing and launched so that shouldn't be too hard and what actually happens is it gives you it in blue so it's specifically for the mission you haven't actually unlocked it but you can use it for the contractor testing which is a really interesting feature to get to try out the new fins I was really a fan of that and this test is as simple as as soon as I've, uh, as soon as I've launched it I'm done 
So I hit the power chute and do a flip for style. That was not intentional, I forgot to drop my engines. And I decided just to coast lightly down so I can save all the parts of the ship and it will stop me from um, wasting credits. So I'll get a refund on it all. However, coasting down nice and lightly, almost there, and oh, the power chute's disappeared, and kaboom. Shit. Not really sure why that happened. Don't know where the power chute went. I don't know if I was... I don't know. I have no idea why the power chute disappeared, but it means we did not get the refund on the engine. It probably shouldn't matter too much. We do have a very healthy amount of credits up there in the top of the screen, so I'm not panicking too much. But now, going for another test, since that seems so easy, I'm going to do the exact same thing with the next engine. Until I notice that I should really read the contracts I'm accepting, because this has a lot of different conditions rather than just hit the space bar and get the money. So I actually need to build a decent ship that can actually get up to speed and up to altitude. So I do a very similar design to the first one, since it managed to surpass those two conditions easily. Because I don't need to take this thing up any real height, I just want to get the contract and get it back down safely. So I also, since I now have the um, decoupling nodes, I think I'm going to put in a failsafe because I don't want to kill my Kerbins on this because it looks like reputation sticks to a Kerbin. So I don't want to get him killed after I've done all the work for him. So I'm going to put into custom one, so if I press the number one key, it will decouple that node and activate the power chute and just taxi down the control pod so we don't have to worry about our Kerbin dying. Kerbal. Kerbin? Kerbin's the planet, Kerbal's the guy. I always get those two confused, I'm sure I've done it in a different video. Anyway, launching up again, and see we've got speed, we've got flying, we've got Kerbin. Now we just need to get altitude, and I actually go too fast, so when the solar booster's cut out, I let it drop down the speed a bit, cut out my engines there, and I realise I've actually gone past the altitude, which is not good, so I need to boost down the way, and try and get out this way. So I'm trying to just go down at a kind of angle so I can hit the altitude and still keep up my speed. And we really did go really far past it by mistake, but just about to hit it. And why is this not going green? Hmm. I hit all the fins. I got all the ticks. They were all there at one point. They didn't accept the contract. It's still orange at the top. It means I still have to do it. And I'm very confused about this. I think I'm going to try it again because I overshot and it all went a bit confusing. I'm going to pay more attention. I'm going to go at an angle so I won't fly through the altitudes quite as quickly. So I've got speed. Only thing I need is altitude over, is that 9,500 meters? And they're all ticked. Why is this not working? I cannot figure it out. There's obviously something I'm missing because all of these are green and it has not given me the contract completed. I have no idea why, but anyway, I think maybe I need to finish the mission for it to click for some reason. I know it didn't in the last one, but I'm really struggling to understand why this isn't working. So I power shoot down again, as always, trying to save the credits and the ship. This is all sped up, don't worry, I'm not actually falling that quickly. Of course, I don't want you to sit and watch me power shoot for 20 minutes. So I speed up all the footage on all this, but you should know that by now. You should have watched all my videos, come on! But yes, still not really sure why. So I'm having a read through, trying to figure it out, and I can't understand what happened. The last one, all the conditions were ticked, I launched, I got it straight away. And that's when I think, maybe I have to wait till they're all ticked, and then launch the engine. And that would be testing it under those conditions, as opposed to just getting it up there. And I think that might be right. So I decide to put a normal engine on the bottom and instead put a decoupler in with the testing engine so I can get this up into the right position, all the ticks on, and then drop the bottom and get off with this new engine and test it. I'm hoping that this will work. It will unfortunately mean that the bottom half of this will be wasted and I won't get the refunds because we're yet to get the... Um, drone control pods I could stick on to swap over and activate the power chutes, which is a shame. But still, I'm more interested in trying to figure out how these contracts actually work at the minute. And there we go, it worked. That's all I needed to do, was I had to wait until all the fins were ticked and then launch the engine. 
So I'm glad I've got that figured out and I'm trying not to kill my curve and by going too fast and have my parachute magically disappear. So I'm taxiing it down, going very slowly. It's also nice to land in the sea so you can use your altometer to see how far you are from hitting the ground. And slowly we go in, we fall over, nice and easy. So I EVA report to get a surface sample of the sea and I realise I've done the same mistake I did back on the old series and that is I can now not get back in the ship which was silly of me but I recover the um, vessel and it turns out it was only the Kerbal I got so I go into the tracking station I pick up the ship I presume because it was in the water it was fine because I still got all my refunds etc from it which is all very good but anyway I have the signs now so I go and I pick up the next set of rockets and I also pick up the survivability one because again I'm trying to keep everything nice and together and not destroy to get all the refunds that I can. So this time I'm going to try and go for the break in the atmosphere and possibly even get into orbit although I very much doubt it with this ship with as little fuel as it has. And I realise because I don't actually have fuel lines it's pretty pointless having these free bits of fuel tank on the sides because that's not actually going to help anything. And again, I'm looking now, I've got another couple of solid boosters, but those um, middle-sized ones are really the only ones that fit onto this shaped craft, as it is still very small crafts I'm using. So I go around, I see what sort of fins I've unlocked. I've got lander legs now, which is interesting, and I've got more parachutes I can strap on readily, which will definitely help with the whole survivability aspect. And... I put on the landing legs again to try and stop any unwanted explosions, but most importantly, we have the mystery goo container, and you'll know from seeing other videos, maybe my videos, maybe other people's, the mystery goo is absolutely great for getting science. So, on the launch pad, I realised the landing legs aren't actually touching the floor, which is a shame, and I also noticed you can actually have them start activated, which I hadn't actually known before, but it's very, very useful. So anyway, doing all my mystery goo observations, forgot to turn on SES there, but quickly recover and straighten up. And again, we're going to try and reach space, that should be fine. Achieving an orbit around Kerbin, probably not going to happen, but you never know, something magical might happen. Except for the fact that we're already out of fuel. And what's our apoapsis looking like? So I ourselves coast up 73,000 metres, that should be enough to reach space, surely. But unfortunately, we just actually fortunately, it must be 70,000 meters is the limit because we just managed to do it. I very almost missed out on getting anything there. But of course, we were nowhere near getting an orbit around Kerbin because look at the ship. Of course, we weren't. But anyway, as we spiral quickly down back into Kerbin's atmosphere, activate the parachutes as we burn up. I probably activated those a bit early, the ship. You can see them going yellow on the side as they take the stress. Luckily, it's a very light ship, so it's not too much of a worry. And we click, uh, quickly zoom down, and we've completed yet another contract. And that is probably going to be it for this first episode. Just an introduction, mainly to myself, as I had never seen any of this new update until I went to film, about the new features, the credits, the reputation, and the contracts. And get in, we've got 63 science there. And we got... Um, a bit of extra science so we can unlock some more fins and we can start getting back into the exciting missions and going and landing on all the different planets which is what I really wanted to get out of this series. So anyway I'm looking around at what I want. I definitely want to progress up the top of the tree to get all the better more powerful engines and the larger parts. So I'm having a look at everything that's on offer and the radio decouplers will be good for having side rockets I can then drop and trying to build up a launch stage. So I'm really tempted to get those as well as progressing up that right side of the tree. And now I can save up for heavy rock tree, which is going to be very important. But anyway, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.